Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the NBA 75 Galaxy Opal Wilt Chamberlain card. And this Wilt, the NBA 75th version, is just the Opal Wilt, um, the other Opal Wilt, except for with that card being Evo. So this card has the stats of the Evo Opal Wilt, so you don't have to Evo this card or anything, obviously. But the good thing about a 75th anniversary card is they can get any badge in the game. Whereas the Wilt, the previous one, because he's an actual Evo card, can't get any badges because evil cards can't get badges in this game which i think is an issue i wish that was not a thing but uh that being said this book can get any badge which i really think might take him to that next level and give him the potential to be the best center in the game i'm really interested to see how good this book can be because i think he has potential like i said to be the best center in the game before we hop into this video if you haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 4,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day i would really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe but without further ado let's hop right into it and see what wilt is looking like so wilt is a seven foot one seven Center, obviously 99 offense and 99 defense statistically incredible 94 driving layup uh, 95 draw foul 95 close shot 86 mid range a 69 three-pointer which i think is going to be makeable 95 driving and standing dunk as well not much of a ball handler but 93 block and 97 interior solid steal and perimeter defense as well a 97 rebounding uh, 88 speed 88 excel 83 steal ball for a center is nuts especially that speed of ball rating is absolutely insane and then an 87 lateral quickness as well so statistically he's the best center in the game i'm not going to like debate that right now i think he's the best center in the game statistically then you look at his tendencies 95 driving and flashy dunk tendencies also incredible defensive tendencies are looking not the best but 92 contestant block shot tendency are really really good then you look at his badges 17 hoffs include brick wall postman technician drop stepper lob city finisher rim protector box interceptor intimidator post rise rebound chaser pogo stick post lockdown worm back down punisher rise up unstrippable and fast twitch a ton of interior and defensive badges he looks like he's going to be the most dominant interior big uh and defensive big in the game for sure um 22 golds as well include fearless finisher acrobat putback boss break starter chase the artist clamps defensive leader um hook specialist pro touch slithery bailout downhill dream shake quick first step bullet pass limitless takeoff gray center pressure menace post playmaker and hustler but then you look at the badges he definitely needs badges added to this card that's why i recommend the 75th anniversary one because he has literally no shooting badges you're gonna want to add badges like catch and shoot um pick dodger um limitless spot up those three for sure and then dead eye sniper that's four or five and uh, maybe ankle braces or ball stripper that'd probably be the sixth badge would probably be that ball stripper badge so you're gonna want to add six badges to this wilt card for sure to improve his uh perimeter defensive ability just a bit and his shooting ability but if you get those badges on him i think he's gonna be the best center in the game all right hopping into freestyle let's see how wilt's movement is the first thing i'm gonna say with what a, he has 83 speed ball as a center and his player build he is going to be the best center in the game in terms of i think pure movement in terms of his ability to burst and things like that and he's obviously got an incredible massive player build as well now here's the thing about wilt excellent release right there this release is not particularly good in my opinion but i am greeting right now with a 69 three-pointer no hotspots and no shooting badges i think that when you get a catch and shoot a uh, even a dead eye a limitless spot up a sniper badges like that added to this card he is going to be capable of shooting the ball you can also add for example a shoe that will give him a um i don't know 74 three-pointer and then you have the floor general boost which gets it up to a 79 and a coach boost gets it up to a what 80 84 like i think you can get this three-point shot somewhere into the mid 80s um with the couple boosts that you can get on him which is going to make it makeable uh, and i'm greening a couple of them as well like obviously i'm not a huge fan of this jumper it is only on normal timing as well i wish it was on um quick but even on normal timing it's makeable like i'm greening i don't know i'd say close to 50 percent of my shots like am i going to recommend shooting with wilt super consistently maybe not but i think he should be a capable shooter and one of the best defensive cards period probably the best i would say defensive card and interior big in the game also has elite player build is going to be an elite master wilt is going to be a dominant force in my team no doubt about it my question is does he shoot the ball well enough to be the best center in the game and that is the question i just made a white with will that's kind of nuts but um like is he going to be better than anthony davis or joel Embiid? because obviously those guys are going to be better the shooters than wilt but will can will be enough of a dominant defensive big dominant interior big all those things to be the best center in the game the only way to find out is to hop into it let's see what wilt can do Checking out our opponent's squad. He's got Kyrie, James Harden, KD, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Andrew Bogut. Wilt versus Bogut. Y'all know that favors Wilt. Let's hop into it. See what Wilt can do. All right. 
let's hop into it see what we see what we can do with wilt one thing i do want to mention that i didn't mention in freestyle or when we were reviewing the card is huge shout out to my boy connor for letting me hop on his account and record this video without him wouldn't be able to get this will gameplay out as Wilt blows right by bogue at first possession of the game and gets an easy dunk his speed at the center position especially against slower centers is just going to make him such a mismatch because he's so big and so fast and i think that's going to make him incredibly versatile on court good defense hard and get to get the board i jumped too early with will that was totally my fault put myself way out of position for that steal good defense cut him off good defense yes sir force and baseline force baseline good d tatum yes sir we're right there great defensive possession we are there now we got to secure the board secure the board and y'all don't secure the board come on bro can we get a dude get a board and we bro bro all right well come on go roll to the rim thank you another easy slip every time we can pretty much slip the screen from what i can tell so far and get an easy dunk with wilt need more uh defensive stops though in this game so far we're kind of struggling defensively uh see if we can get a stop get through good d obviously i haven't done any settings but like we should still be able to get more stops than we've been getting so far good defense he's boxed he's boxed why are you jumping tatum you know what it's still a stop y'all gotta just secure a board beautiful throw it to lonzo wilt let's see if let's see a pick and pop here i don't know why i want to shoot a three with you but i do wide open wilt chamberlain four three green bean yes sir 69 three-pointer and no shooting badges no shoe added none of that stuff and he knocks down the three-pointer big green out of wilt and like i'm saying this year it's so easy to shoot the ball that even with a card like wilt that has such a low three-pointer even with no shooting badges he can still knock him down but he gets the board pushes and transition look at that 83 speed with ball on a big man look how dang fast he is being able to blow right by get to the rim knocks hard and over no foul and he is going to get an easy layup and wilt is up to all 13 of our points playing super well so far terrible shot with my opponent as well we'll take a good board by wilt push back in transition look how dang fast he is. his ability to just i mean his speed is ridiculous get inside easy match and he has takeover rim rebounding takeover i wish he had rim protector takeover i'm not sure if you can change uh based on the shoe boost that you add and stuff like that if you can change his takeover to rim but um even with rebounding it's fine like he's just going to be that in elite interior big still um good defense good d he kind of cooked me but tatum recovers beautifully and gets right to the spot good board by lonzo push right back in transition uh, let's see if we can get another pick and roll going. Slip the screen again. Wilt, get behind him. I've messed up my icons. We're still going to get it into Wilt, though. And another get another one. easy layup. He is such a monster. Too big, too strong. It is too easy for him right now. Good board, AD. Push the transition. Come on. Let's get it right back up to Lonzo. Throw it over to Wilt. Again, too dang fast. He got blocked. That is so frustrating. Blocks in this game are so annoying because, like, he's so fast. He can literally just beat guys off the dribble. Uh, but you got to secure a board here. Thank you. We get the board. Throw it up to Lonzo. Throw it right back over to Wilt. Wilt stopping the break. Pump fake. Chill. Explosive away. I don't think whoever's guarding you. I think it's Kyrie. He's simply just not going to have a chance. Blow right by. Wilt throws it down. He is just too big. Anybody who's not a pure center is just going to struggle so much to get any sort of stops on Wilt. Can I get a chase down? Denied. He blocked that. I, I know it got blocked in, but the fact that he got that block is nuts. His defensive animations are crazy. This is this is the best defensive center in the game. I say that with complete confidence. Uh, comes up me another screen. See if we can get a quick slip. He's actually going to not give me the quick slip, but you know what? Pump fake. We got three dudes on us. We're going to have to take our wide open corner. Wilt to the corner easy green light for anthony davis and that is going to close out this game wilt with an absolutely phenomenal points performance 19 points two rebounds and an assist just an incredible all-around game from wilt good contest let's close this one out there we go good board by tatum and that's going to end the game wilt finishes with 19 points two rebounds one assist eight of 11 from the field and one of one from three incredible performance by this will chamberlain card let's hop back into the main menu and let's review the card all right, so in conclusion, Wills is a beast. No doubt about it. I mean, he's a dominant inside big. He's an elite rebounder. He's an elite defender. He's an elite masher. He's got incredible athleticism, can push the ball in transition, and can even knock down the open three-pointer. That being said, I don't think he's the best center in the game. For me personally, the way that I play, I would take both Galaxy Opal Joel Embiid and Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis over this Wilt card. I think I would have Wilt at number three. Um, he's going to be the best defensive center in my team easily, uh, maybe the best pure center, but I like guys who can stretch the floor with elite releases and shoot the ball at a super high level, and I don't think Wilt does that. He's going to knock down his wide open threes, especially if you get shooting badges on him and stuff, and have the ability to green shots, like if you have thumbs, basically, and can knock down your shots with Wilt, you're going to be able to green the open shots with him that being said he doesn't have the elite release that really gives him the ability to be that next level center i feel like great card great interior beast if you're a wilt fan have a ton of fun using this card he's going to be a monster defensively and i wouldn't be surprised to see him run in a lot of competitive settings but i don't think i will be using this card personally on my team just because he's going to be very expensive and i don't think he's better than ad and joel and beat that being said if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe and i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all Peace.